Hey guys, this is Alan with Bothell STEM Coach, and today we're going to be doing some AP Physics problems. Here we're going to be starting um, our first video on circular motion. So we're going to be doing some free response questions on circular motion. Now, I encourage you guys to pause the video, try to do the problem yourself, and once you've had a chance to like look through it and try to work it out, then come back and rewatch the video to see how far you've gotten or how it compares to my answer. So a box of mass M is held in place by friction, rides on a flatbed of a truck, which is traveling with constant speed V. The truck is on an unbanked circular roadway having a radius of curvature R, which is going in a circle here. On the diagram provided above, indicate and clearly label all force vectors acting on the box. Okay, the only, let's see, um, do this in kind of red. We have gravity, mg. Then we have friction that's holding it in a turn. Let's have a normal force. And this is the force of friction here. Okay. So this is the friction and it's holding it in a turn, basically. Okay. Um, so that's, that's everything I think on that. Find what condition must be satisfied by the coefficient of static friction between the box and the truck bed. Express your answer in terms of V, R, and G. Okay. So this force of friction um, has to be, um, it's less than or equal to mu normal force. And because uh, in the y direction, um, the normal force is to equal mg. This is equal to mu mg. Okay? And static friction. Why is it not kinetic friction is a good question. Um, because it's moving, right? Why is it static friction? Well, it's not sliding. It's not slipping in the direction of the friction, right? Because it's making a turn, but it's not sliding inward, it's actually static friction and not kinetic friction that you have to use for this case. Because it's not, since it's not actually slipping in that direction. It is moving overall, but it's not moving in the direction that the friction is talking about. That's why they, they, they ask you to do static friction. Okay, so the force of friction, which is, um, has to be at least equal to, let's see, has to be... Well, the net force has to equal m v squared over r. Okay, this is m a. But what kind of acceleration is this truck feeling? It's a centripetal acceleration. So v squared over r. So m v squared over r. So the force of friction has to be at least this much. Because if it were less than this much, then we wouldn't be doing this acceleration. Um, yeah. So um, that means mu. S M G um, has to be greater than or equal to M V squared over R. The M's cancel, so mu S has to be greater than or equal to V squared over G R. Okay. Because the net force here, this is a force of friction. And the force of friction has to be it can be only at most mu S M G, but okay. Um, if the roadway is properly banked, the box will still remain in place on the truck for the same speed v, even when the truck bed is frictionless. Uh, on the diagram above, indicate and clearly the label forces under these conditions. So now we don't have any friction here. So this is mg. I have a normal force. And those are the only two forces because I don't have friction anymore on this. Um, which, if either of the two forces acting in the box, is greater in magnitude? So this is a 2, 4. Um, in magnitude, oh, it's not asking you what the banking angle should be. It's just asking you um, which force is bigger. Well, we know that force Fn would have to equal mg um, cosine beta. OK. So that means this has to, and, and co, because cosine theta can only is, is has to be less than or equal to one. That means mg has to be bigger than fn. Mg is greater than fn because basically this component of the force has to match fn, but mg still has more force in the x direction. So this total length is bigger than that one. Okay. All right. Um, hope you guys found that helpful. I'll see you guys in the next video. Thanks for watching the video guys. Please leave a comment, like, or subscribe below to catch up more of the content and see any links below. I offer free homework help on uh, Twitch and Discord. See you guys in the next video.